Our planet, Earth, occupies a special place in the solar system as the third closest planet from the Sun, nestled between Venus and Mars. Among all the planets in the solar system, in fact all planets in the entire universe, Earth is the only one confirmed to support life. And this unique capability is due to a number of factors, which we will explore in this video. This video is sponsored in part by Blue Ring Education, the makers of Next Generation Science, Metholia and Kids Health Net. One of these factors is the presence of water in a liquid state, essential for living things to survive. Earth's surface, covered by vast oceans, rivers and lakes, is markedly different from the other planets in our solar system. Earth's abundant water is crucial for the survival of organisms in various ways. Photosynthesizing phytoplankton, the base of the aquatic food chain, thrive in these waters, converting sunlight into energy and producing oxygen as a byproduct, much like plants on land do. Fish and marine mammals rely on these bodies of water for habitat, obtaining oxygen dissolved in water through their gills or coming to the surface to breathe air. Plants absorb water through their roots to transport nutrients and carry out photosynthesis. During photosynthesis, plants use the energy from sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide from the air into glucose, a type of sugar. Oxygen is released as a byproduct of this process. While birds and land animals drink water to stay hydrated and maintain vital bodily functions. This abundance of liquid water supports life's diversity, enabling organisms to thrive in environments ranging from the deepest oceans to the highest mountains. Another crucial factor enabling life to thrive is Earth's atmosphere. Our planet is enveloped by a mixture of gases, including oxygen and carbon dioxide. Oxygen is vital for respiration in most life forms, while carbon dioxide plays a significant role in photosynthesis, the process by which plants generate food and oxygen. Yet another element plays a critical role in making Earth suitable for life, the sun. This star's immense mass and gravitational pull keeps the planets in their orbits around it. It is also a colossal engine of energy, radiating light and heat across vast distances. On planets closer to the Sun, like Mercury, temperatures soar to levels far too high for life as we know it. And on planets further from the Sun, from Mars and beyond, conditions are too cold. Earth, however, resides in what scientists call the habitable zone, a region not too hot, not too cold, but just right for life. Being situated in this zone is critical for maintaining temperatures suitable for life, but also for providing the right conditions for photosynthesis. 
Photosynthesis is the fundamental process by which plants convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy, which then becomes the backbone of ecosystems on Earth. For photosynthesis to occur efficiently, a specific range of light intensity is necessary. The habitable zone is precisely where this balance is struck perfectly. The Earth receives an adequate amount of sunlight that is neither too intense to damage plants and other photosynthesizing organisms, nor too weak that photosynthesis cannot occur efficiently. This balance ensures that Earth's surface is bathed in just the right amount of light, enabling plants to produce oxygen and glucose from carbon dioxide and water. This process not only sustains the plants themselves, but also provides the base of the food chain and the oxygen critical for most life forms. Being within the habitable zone is not only important for providing light for photosynthesis, but also for maintaining a temperature range that can support life. Earth's position in this zone ensures that it receives a balanced amount of the sun's heat, enough to keep the planet warm, but not so much that it becomes inhospitable. The temperature range on Earth's surface varies widely, from the coldest recorded temperatures in Antarctica, which can drop below minus 80 degrees Celsius, minus 112 degrees Fahrenheit, to the hottest temperatures in places like the Lut Desert in Iran, which can soar above 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the global average temperature hovers around 14 degrees Celsius, 57.2 degrees Fahrenheit a testament to Earth's ideal placement in the habitable zone. This average temperature is crucial because it allows water to exist in a permanent liquid state, a fundamental requirement for life as we know it. Earth's atmosphere plays a significant role in maintaining this temperature range. It acts like a blanket, trapping some of the sun's heat through a natural process known as the greenhouse effect. Without this effect, Earth's average temperature would be about minus 18 degrees Celsius, zero degrees Fahrenheit, far too cold to sustain most forms of life. You can learn about the greenhouse effect in more detail in our related NG Science videos. This thermal insulation makes it possible for the planet to maintain a stable climate that supports a vast diversity of life. The atmosphere also retains heat to help keep temperatures more stable between day and night. So, Earth's location in the habitable zone ensures it receives just the right amount of sunlight and heat. This, coupled with its protective atmosphere, allows for temperatures that enable water to remain liquid and provide a stable, warm environment for life to flourish. It's a finely tuned system that underscores the uniqueness of our planet in the vast expanse of space. Don't forget to subscribe.